Loved applesauce as a kid, Sanaya's grown-up take on the lunchbox snack promised to make fans out of adults. It may have wowed the sharks, but was it enough to weather the storms of the applesauce market? The company was founded by Keisha Smith Jeremy, who grew up in the Bahamas eating fruits like guavas and tamarinds. When Smith Jeremy went on to college at the University of Virginia, she felt a bit homesick and started making applesauce mixed with a variety of Bohemian-inspired flavors to make her feel more connected to her island home. Though her homemade snack was a hit with fellow classmates, Smith Jeremy put the applesauce life aside for 20 years to work at a Fortune 500 company before picking it back up and taking a deep dive into the food business. And so I finally decided to take matters into my own hands, introducing Sanaya. Ready to break into the $900 million applesauce market, Smith Jeremy brought her company, Sanaya Applesauce, into the Shark Tank on episode two, season 10 of the hit show. She asked for $150,000 for 15% equity in her business to help with production and distribution. Entering the Shark Tank room with an idea to turn what is predominantly considered to be a snack for children into an adult treat. The sharks were initially skeptical about the viability of the business, but once the panel of entrepreneurs found out that Smith Jeremy's business had already generated a revenue of $40,000 after the first pilot tests, they were intrigued. They also couldn't get enough of her tropical island-inspired guava and green apple-flavored applesauces. Barbara Corcoran initially offered $150,000 in return for 75% of the company, well above the 15% Smith Jeremy was ready to give. But in the end, the business owner accepted Mark Cuban's deal of $150,000 for 25% of the company. Considering Sanaya Applesauce has managed to receive a shark's backing, it seemed like the small business was on its way to turning into yet another million-dollar company. However, the deal with Cuban was never finalized. Nevertheless, Sanaya Applesauce managed to stay in business, at least for a while. Prior to the pandemic, Sanaya Applesauce was thriving, with its products being sold everywhere from Amazon to Walmart to Aldi. But sadly, COVID knocked the applesauce business off course. The pandemic brought about unforeseen troubles, and for a small operation that didn't have a big shark like Mark Cuban backing it, it meant that Sanaya Applesauce was briefly out of business. The company paused all production between 2020 and 2022, and Smith Jeremy returned to the workforce as the head of HR at Tory Birch. In 2021, she was appointed to the board of directors for Unity Software Incorporated, and she planned to use the experience she got from Sanaya Applesauce in her new position. In a press release, Smith Jeremy explained, as someone who works at the intersection of consumer engagement and next generation retail experiences, I'm really excited to lend my expertise to Unity's future. But soon after quarantine ended, there was good news for adult applesauce fans. Sanaya Applesauce had returned. A publicist for Smith Jeremy and the company confirmed to BizBucket that the unique, flavorful snack was back in stock and being sold once more. According to an Instagram update, Sanaya's unsweetened and guava flavors were available on Amazon. Smith Jeremy reportedly planned on relaunching blackberry, hibiscus, tamarind, lavender pear, and ginger flavors as well. But as of July 2023, it appears Sanaya Applesauce is no longer in business. While it seems as if you might still be able to buy Sanaya Applesauce on my Shopify, it's unclear if this is truly possible, as the company's website and Instagram accounts have both been taken down. Furthermore, the applesauce flavors are listed as currently unavailable on Amazon, along with the description, we don't know when or if this item will be back in stock. Hopefully, Sanaya Applesauce has at least one more big comeback in it, because adult applesauce certainly fulfills a niche market.